This video will cover the topic, Solving an Exponential Equation by Using Logarithms, Decimal Answers, Basic. In this topic, we will be presented with an equation, where the variable is part of the exponent, such as the following example, 9 raised to the 3x power equals 15. In this problem, we are asked to round to the nearest hundredth. How do we solve this equation by isolating the variable if the variable is part of the exponent? Good question. Since the variable is in the exponent, we must start by taking the logarithm of both sides of the equation. Since the base 10, or common, logarithm is found on the Alex graphing calculator, let's use base 10 for our logarithm. Using the logarithm of a power property, we can rewrite the equation as 3x times the log of 9 equals the log of 15. Since these logarithms have the same base, we can divide them to isolate x on one side of the equation, right? Exactly. This yields 3x equals log 15 divided by log 9. We can further simplify this equation by dividing both sides by 3, yielding the log of 15 divided by 3 times the log of 9. In putting this equation into the Alex graphing calculator results in x equals 0 0.41 after rounding to the nearest hundredth. Okay, I think I'm starting to understand this topic, but can we do another example just to be sure? Sure. Let's look at the example problem. 15 raised to the y plus 5 power equals 4. First, we can take the common logarithm of both sides of the equation, resulting in y plus 5 times the log of 15 equals the log of 4. Next, we begin isolating the variable by dividing both sides by log of 15 yielding y plus 5 equals the log of 4 divided by the log of 15. Lastly, we subtract 5 from both sides and input this equation into the Alex graphing calculator to result in negative 4.49 after rounding to the nearest hundredth. Okay, I think I understand this topic now, but let me quickly summarize just to be sure. We begin by taking the common logarithm of both sides, and then we simplify the equation using the rules for logarithms. Lastly, we input the equation into the Alex graphing calculator to solve for the variable, making sure to round to the nearest hundredth. That's right. 